welcome back to Drawing Blanks. This is our news episode that we do weekly. Ish. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Oh, there's one thing I'm forgetting. But especially Facebook. Oh, That's... like us on Facebook. Because we're giving away Destiny 2 the day that it comes out. Yeah. Digitally. Fuck D you. Dig digitally, so we don't have to deal with no shenanigans here, guys. Yeah. Bullshit. All you do is like our Facebook page. That's it. And you get a, entered for a chance to win. Don't worry. We won't even bother you. We don't even post on it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's start off with uh, Friday the 13th, because fuck it. Also, sorry about the new setup. Uh, we're feeling lazy right now. It's like midnight where yeah. we are. Heading on 1 o'clock in the morning. Anyways. There's a one in that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, up, an update to Friday the 13th brings friendly fire to a close. How do you feel about that? I like that? the way you said that. That was really cool. I know. I think it's fucking stupid. I think it's dumb, too. I loved trapping our, my, my own buddies in bear traps like an asshole. I think maybe instead of getting rid of it entirely, maybe what they should have did is make it not so easy to one-shot them. Or just a new mode. Like, like no friendly fire. Or, yeah, maybe that too. Hardcore or, hardcore for friendly or fire. Or maybe when you set up a, a party, uh, a game, like if you're a Every leader, votes. you can just check it off or check it on. Or, or a vote. Or a vote. Yeah, some there's kind seven, of... There's seven people, right? So yeah. the majority vote. I feel like that should have been the way they went. I mean, and, and maybe not one-shot you on top of it, because like... It's pretty dumb. I think hardcore would been cool. Like how in Call of Duty hardcore mode you friendly fire. Yeah. The hardcore mode would been cool with this. I, I just thought that that was kind of cool because sometimes in movies someone goes crazy and starts killing people, not just the murderer and shit. But, yeah. but you know, maybe. It's just probably people were just. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Somebody who's on a team with with uh, Jason was like, hey, I'll try this guy for you over here. Come get him. And that's really it. That's probably how things were going down. And it's just. People have to ruin shit. Yeah, but I still feel like maybe I not. I don't know. Anyways, moving on. Uh, Super Meat Boy, is it? Yeah. I wouldn't know what he is. He's... Come into Nintendo Switch. It's a really hard game. Is it? Yeah. It's oh, like... you know what? I think I, I did. You showed me once, I think. All right, yeah. That game did look hard. I yeah. I never played it. And I just like that we're getting more and more games ported to the Switch. To coming recently, more and more. Recently, five games came out to eShop. Yeah, I just think that we're getting... This is... What I wanted, I wanted more games for the Switch, not just, you know, your Mario Party, your Mario games, your Sunshine, your Galaxy Stars and shit. That's all we were got, we got with, that's all we got with the Wii U, and now we're really coming back into the, like, the actual gaming world. That's, I think, yeah, nice Super Meat Boy. I think, <laughs> you know what I mean, I, I, you know what I mean, we're just getting more than we've ever probably gotten in, in terms of diversity. Okay. Moving on, uh, Overwatch. Finally, 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 death match. A death match and a free for all mode. The free for all mode will be first to twenty, and the death match mode will be first to thirty. There will be a brand new map, Chateau Gala. I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah, that's it right there. Chateau. Chateau. You said she did. Did I? You sound like an idiot. My bad. I didn't. I knew. I knew probably, that was the word. Right, Gillard. Gillard. Probably. I don't know. Doesn't He's... matter to me. That'll be the. Only map with a, I, with a deathmatch, I think. And free for all? Yeah, it's made for, uh, yeah, I think that's what they ah, I said. Feel like that's, I feel like free for all is going to be shit. That's the people gist who, I got. People who want to play Hanzo are not going to have a good time versus people who want to play Soldier, probably. No, I think they might, because Hanzo isn't a bad matchup no. against a. I think it's like if you want to play somebody like maybe like Reinhardt, you might have a hard time. I think May is going to dominate, I think Soldier is going to dominate. Hanzo, McCree. good widow players. McCree, I feel like might do half and half because like he's good. He's like probably the best close combat. But further, he's a little weaker than like Soldier Seven. Really easy to get shots on him. And if you're May, you can close distance in between. And then he's really fucked. I feel like he'll be good, just not that good. May needs to fuck herself. Farah might do. Farah right. could fuck herself. I too. think tanks. My two least favorite character. <laughs> I think tanks will kind of not do so good here. I think heels are really not going to do well in free-for-all, but... Uh, Mercy will do good. Oh, you know what would be interesting, actually? Because Mercy is, like, kind of, like... Powerful. Powerful. And she heals a lot, like, on her yeah, own. So, so maybe she'll do well, but, like, uh, Zenyatta will do well, too. It's Ana that's really going to struggle. But then I was thinking, what if Ana just put someone to sleep and rent, like, in the middle of a fight between three people, put someone to sleep. That'll give her time to run away, because that other person's going to fuck that guy up. Oh, look, it's Anna. What's she doing? She's not getting the kills, though. She's not gonna, yeah, well, she's not. 
You're right. <laughs> uh, you're right, you. you gotta get to 30, you're 20. Never mind, Anna, you're fucked. Still, I'm excited for still, new game modes. I don't be real fun. the whole payload and like... Don't know, if we'll hell shit. don't know if we'll see that on competitive. Probably not, but I kind of hope we do, honestly. I hope that maybe like Lucio Ball. Their own like separate Lucio Ball, yeah, it'll their be its own, its own competitive. That that would be in. I like that. I like that idea Thank a lot. You. All right. I work for them. Yeah, you should. Anybody should. should. <laughs> Somebody might. Who knows what they're fucking doing? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Moving on to the 5.0 patch for PlayStation. Let me just handle this because you. Yeah, yeah, you do that because like I'm yeah. Xbox. I mean, not just that. I just think you're really an idiot. So. Uh, the pro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. The PS4 Pro has uh, is getting an update where you can do 1080p and 60 FPS on Twitch. He was talking about how you had to pay for Twitch to like. No, no, no. I, you had to be like. Popular. Last time I knew, you had to be like popular and doing well to get the option for 60 FPS. As far as I knew, like Tyler. And maybe other people who stream are only allowed to do it in 30. That's what I understood. Don't know since then. Maybe it might have been a while since I've seen that. Maybe but I thought that's one. what it was going on with with uh, with Twitch. I don't know if this is. I don't know if they changed that or if this is just exclusive for PlayStation. I don't know, but that's what I understood from what I've heard. Could be a new really exclusive thing they own. Could be. Um, you can now follow PSN members instead of friending them. You could do that to verify accounts like Yoshida. And uh, like other people who popular with YouTube and uh, devs and shit, but now you can follow anyone you want. Uh, no, no, man, it's gonna have a <laughs> no. <laughs> see, I, no, yeah, I yeah, know, yeah, I, yeah, I see yeah, the star, right, the stars yeah. things. Um, notifications and upload and download speed now show up in the quick menu, and it makes it a lot easier instead of having to exit the game, go to notifications, and sometimes you have to cancel out the game to just see your fucking download. And then more parental control. They're adding uh, PC and uh, mobile. That was close. Uh, <laughs> man, I almost died. And there was rumors going on about PSN name changes going on. That would be nice. That would have been nice, especially for 5.0. That would have been like, a good number to fucking do it on. But I, this might not even be everything that's going on. But yeah. this, this is definitely happening. Another uh, change going another update that's going to happen with Xbox, on the other hand. I know, crazy. We do Xbox news here. Is that they will be doing, like... They're gonna fix up like the home screen so that like it'll focus on speed, customization, and expression. <laughs> and the they're they're, cha they're not changing the gamer score per se. They said they're going to complement it rather. So like if you you play a lot of games on PlayStation, you have a lot of trophies. It says like your level like twenty five or whatever 19. you are nineteen. My bad, right? And on Xbox, they kind of had the same thing going on, but with, like, your gamer score, you did a lot of achievements, you got points for that, and, like, some people would have, like, 30,000, while other players don't have that much because they like playing only, like, a few games. And what they were thinking is, all right, so these people that don't play a lot of, lot, like, a lot of games, they want them to, like, have their own, like, version that, that'll complement. Sure, he doesn't play a lot of games, he doesn't have a huge gamer score, but he's in the top 10 in the world with Halo 5. That's what they want to do. Or like he's a professional player on this other game. That's what they want. They want to show you. They want hey, to showcase your, your achievements. Yeah. You may not play a lot of games, but you're pretty good at these games that you do play is what they want. That's, yeah, that's a pretty that's cool. cool. Yeah. Also, Spotify will be coming to Xbox. After two years of being only on PS4. I didn't even know they didn't have Spotify. Honestly, I didn't either. I don't even use Spotify on PlayStation, to be honest. That's pretty harsh. Yeah. So... That's that for that. Moving on to Fallout 4. This is Game of the Year edition coming for you guys. And also more Pip-Boy editions. It's going to be sold. I think it's pretty cool that they're bringing it back in stock. The Pip-Boy, that was the, the edition the that comes with Vegas. Oh, oh, yeah. That would be nice if like, Nintendo did that with a SNES and then this. Or anything. <laughs> well, assholes. that's pretty cool. Assholes. Did it sell assholes. out? Is assholes. that why assholes. they're bringing it back? Assholes. Or are they just... I think so. All right, that's pretty cool then. And, you know, getting a Game of the Year edition, I like how Fallout's still releasing stuff, and it kind of updates, like, as you... That me again, you fucking bad. asshole. Like, as you say, they're supporting it, and that's pretty cool, I do like that, I enjoy that. really supporting it. I mean... They have supported it, We're still it, and now doing it's done stuff. With I know, we're still doing stuff with it, though. They didn't have to re-release a Pip-Boy edition, they didn't have to do all these things that they're gonna do. Moving on. No Man's Sky is getting enough. Ah, yeah, all right. We don't give a fuck about No Man's Sky. Like, comment, subscribe. We have a Destiny 2 giveaway on Facebook. <laughs> don't no Man's forget, Sky is garbage. Don't forget to uh, 
I don't know about now. Do all these things. I'll see you. Feel like it. Yeah. Uh, I somewhat apologize, but I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs>